Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Now, if you are new here, do consider subscribing if you wanna see more content like this. Now in today's video, I'm gonna present you with a problem and then I'm gonna give you a couple of solutions or a couple of workarounds for this particular issue. Now, in this case, the problem is we have a narrow barrel lens and we have a tall camera setup and we have a follow focus system that does not engage with the teeth on the lens ring. So if you're gonna be trying to pull focus with this setup, that is definitely not going to work. Now on this system, what we have right here is the Rhino Arc 2 with the, uh, with the focus module. And this just sits right here in, on a 15 mil carbon rail, just where you would sit that on a base plate um, if you have any regular system that uses 15 inch rails or 15 millimeter rails rather. So yeah, this is how it's set up here. and. This would apply to any other, you know, sort of follow focus system that you'd be using, like the Nucleus N, for example, you're gonna come across the same issue where it's not going to be tall. And this is even, there's even much more gap, much more of a gap between the two of these. I'm gonna show you how we can get around that and how we can uh, fix that problem. Now, again, to give you a little bit more reference, what I'm gonna do is replace this lens on here with a regular sized lens, you should say. And we can see there's, there's no issue. There's no problem with this. It's uh, the diameter of this lens is big enough to allow the gears to move on both the follow focus system and the lens ring itself. Now, the first way that we're going to look at solving this problem is to move the follow focus module somewhere else on the camera body that's gonna allow it to engage with this properly. Now, if you have a cage on your camera with different mounting points, that's gonna make that job a little bit more easier. For example, we can see that the gap between the lens and the top of the camera is a lot shorter than it is at the bottom where we have in the problem. So we can kind of try to put this on the top, mount this on the top somewhere so that we can get it closer and we can operate that from there. So if you had a simple accessory, like a rod clamp that you can attach to the, to the top of this cage, so then we can actually get that closer enough to engage at the top. Now here's one problem that we're gonna face with this particular follow focus module and this system is that if we have it sitting up here like this, then the cable is not long enough to connect with the control module down here. So getting a longer cable, in this case, it's just an RJ45 regular cable. We can get a longer cable that we're able to connect both of those if this is sitting at the top here or at the side, if you are able to mount it in that position. So the second solution and my preferred method is to actually extend the diameter of the focus ring on this lens right here. And the way we're gonna be doing that is by adding this. So this is something that I made from these pieces right here and I'll kind of explain how, what it does, but let me just show you how it works. So I will just put this ring on, just slide it over this first ring and onto the focus ring. It's quite a snug fit, which is pretty cool. So by adding this accessory on here, what we've done is increase the diameter of this focus ring and now we can engage the focus module and the gears and that would work just fine so how did we get to that point i'm just going to explain that very quickly very briefly the start life looking like this so these are generic or universal follow focus rings or follow focus gears that you can purchase on ebay amazon i'll leave a link below just to show you what it would look like or how much it would cost now depending on the height of your particular setup you might be able to get away with just one of these um, if you were to just put it into position around here tighten it down You know, that might suffice. All you have to do is, if you wanted to, is cut a piece of this off. Just, just cut this off right here and you'll be good to go. Because in reality, this doesn't come all the way around 360 degrees. So, you know, there's about 180 degree of movement or even 120 on this particular lens. So you'll be able to get away with just having that permanently sticking out like that. But for me, I wanted something that would look a little bit better, hence why I've gone the extra mile. And even with this, with just this one in place, it still wasn't meeting. So what you're gonna do is grab one of these 
and just offer it up around here. I take a measurement, I mark it, and then with a sharp knife, you're just gonna cut it off. So you're gonna end up with something like this. That's gonna fit around here. Just nice and snug. Leave a little bit of a gap, leave a little about one mil or two mil so that you can really pull it together. So what we're gonna join these together is to drill a hole straight through here. So just like we have right here, we've just drilled two holes at either end straight through and then I've joined them and put, tied them together with nylon thread. You know, it's, 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 it's as easy as that. Um, and then once you get the first one in, you put it on and the same principle, you take another piece, measure it up and you have two concentric circles like this. Now, when you first put them together like this, there won't be a perfect circle. So to help to keep the form and to give it a bit of rigidity, what I've done was add some super glue just in between the two of them. So add some super glue between the two of them and then wipe off the excess. So you don't want to get that on your lens. Push it through and then just fit it on to the focus ring and then you can leave that effort to set and dry and that's going to help it to keep that rigid form and there you have it there you have a homemade focus ring extender or something like that <laughs> now before i went through the trouble of actually trying to figure something out or make something like this i did search the internet to see if there was something that i can buy off the shelf to fix this problem because i thought maybe it's a common issue that a lot of people would have and there would be a solution for it but at the time there wasn't maybe there is now um, alternatively maybe you can develop this uh, and make something a little bit nicer in a 3d printer if you were to get the dimensions and just make something from that so that is it from me for today for this video guys i hope you found this uh helpful the whole purpose of this video was to kind of share my solution of this problem if anyone else might ever come across it um so if you did find this useful hit the like button do subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this and i'll see you guys on the next one peace